I am excited about what you're about to make because it is sweet, it is a treat, yeah. and it's something that you grew up absolutely loving. One of my childhood favorites, I'm gonna show everybody how to make jalebi from scratch. Ooh. And for Diwali, we're offering sweets. It's a sign of joy, it's a sign of happiness, but it's also an expression of gratitude. Lovely. So that's why we're like always that. going to homes with, you know, a nice box of mitai or sweets. Nice. So to get started with this recipe, okay. it's just a few ingredients. Okay. And this is might seem challenging for some people at home, but it's very simple. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to start by doing is incorporating all of our dry ingredients. Yep. So we have our flour going in. Why don't you tell me what it is and I'll put it in. What's uh, this? Less work I have to do the right? better. Okay. You just boss Co me around, co chef. Corn flour. Okay. And you're going to add all the dry. Yeah. And then we're going to add in, yeah, that's what <laughs> this is dry. We have baking soda. Got it. We also have some salt. Yeah. And then lastly, some uh, food coloring powder. Okay, so this is what makes it the beautiful color. That uh, kind of that animated orange, okay? Yeah. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mix this all together to incorporate our dry. Yes. And then once this is all incorporated, we can add in our wet ingredients. Okay. So we have a little bit of yogurt. You can just get it right into the pool. And then nice. we're going to add in most of that water, about 84% of that water. Okay? 84%? Yeah. I hope, I mean, it's been a while since I did math, but Beautiful. did I get my percentage and, right? And then well, we're going to get some more water in there. And then you can see that, yeah, 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 go for it. You can add, yeah, and then we're going to start to bring Look this at that together. Color. Yeah, it's coming together. You're that working. is beautiful. We are looking for a consistency somewhere in between pancake, all the water, please. Somewhere oh, in between pancake and yeah. crepe batter. Nice. And we might need, you gotta be careful. If I keep stirring this so aggressively, I'll get more paint Do you on, want this, more uh, water? on this vest that I'm wearing, right? Just in case, Chef. I don't know, yep. I trust you, but we'll, just in we'll, case you need we'll more need a water. We'll need a splash more water. A little splash. And this is what it is. We need to adjust as we go. And we're gonna get a really nice consistency. Ooh, I and didn't then, put that in. This is a garnish. Okay, got gotcha. it. Yeah, if we put that in, this is not it's gonna come wrong. out. Of, it's not gonna come out of the squeeze bottle. Okay, got it. Okay, okay. so we're gonna whisk Fair. this together, and we have a really nice consistency. That's now, beautiful. Now we're gonna transfer this to a squeeze bottle. Okay. But let's talk about the sugar syrup. Let's do that. Because what makes this dish so special, I think, uh -huh. is that once we make our South Asian inspired funnel cake, yes. it's gonna get dunked in our sugar syrup. Okay. Over here we have water, sugar, cardamom powder. Lovely. Saffron, please use high quality saffron. It makes all the difference. The if you pick up, stuff. If you pick up some cheap saffron at the grocery store and it's been in the back of your cupboard for like 13 years, <laughs> not the best thing for this recipe. Okay. And then some lemon juice. That real nice kick of acidity yeah. will help counterbalance a lot of the sweetness that's going on here. So is that so, like a nice thick syrup there that's just sitting there? Like, did you heat that up? That's a very good question. We keep this on warm because when we start making our jalebi, yeah. if it's too hot, mm -hmm. the jalebi is not going to get glazed. It's going to go soft. And okay. if it's too cold, it's not going to glaze properly. Okay. So making jalebi is a little bit of practice it takes. Yeah, and uh, we're going to start. So we've transferred off our mixture mm. into our squeeze bottle. Beautiful. And this stains, too, because of the food coloring, I right? I bet it does. So you don't want to get it all over your hands and okay. stuff like that. Well, maybe you do. I don't know. Whatever maybe it's you want. Fun. Maybe it's a little fun. So we're going to start by making a spiral here. Oh, there's some technique to this. There, and you know what? You're going to be doing it next. Yeah, now I'm afraid. So, I volunteered, so, but look at like so There's me all do, of this. Let me do it. <laughs> do do let, another one. Let me do a couple more. So I'm yeah. going to squeeze a little bit hard because I want it to get a little bit of a thicker ring. Okay. So I'm going to start in the middle mm -hmm. and I'm just going to slowly chase around and then the last one goes through the middle. I'm going to do one more and then it's all you. Okay. And that's so it doesn't kind of unravel and it looks really nice and neat. I feel okay about it because you already have three good ones so who cares what I do, right? I have a whole tray of good ones. Oh, so. oh my. So we're, <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's you fine. You know what? It, it's not bad. It's beautiful. Okay. It's beautiful. It doesn't have to be but a start, perfect. Start a little bit lower closer to the oil. Okay. All right. Get, get down us here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I went the wrong way. Ça marche. It's fine. Oui, ça marche. These are beautiful. So when you're making Mine's these at home... Mine's an amoeba. <laughs> it's going to taste the same. It's all going in your stomach. I was just going to say, when you're making these at home, this is something really fun that you can get the family involved in. Yeah. If they don't come out and look perfect, it's that's okay. totally fine. It's okay. Because we're going to glaze it in the syrup. Now, we're going to do... How long is it usually in there for? Two to three minutes. Oh, And we okay. want our oil right. temperature at in and around 350 degrees. Got it. And... 
These, like, when I first started making them, they didn't look like this. No, uh. This is, like, photo shoot ready. Did they look like mine? This one? <laughs> when you first... Yeah, uh, like that. That's uh, also photo shoot ready. We're just going to turn it on this side, and yeah, now it's good. That. Yeah, look. See, beautiful on it the bottom. Beautiful. Okay? It's perfect. So once, once we have it nice and uh, crusty, I can feel it getting there. Crispy, crunchy is what yeah. we're looking for. Okay. We're going to take this out now and just drain off some excess oil that's coming out of it. And, like, this nice. is so simple. You can make this yeah. at home. Into our... Syrup. It's essentially fried dough, which never yep. goes wrong. And it's crispy, right? crunchy, but what a lot of people sometimes do not like about jalebi is it's so sweet. Yeah. Because typically you soak it in the syrup for 30 seconds, even a minute. Well, I don't see I, a problem with that. No, I, I don't like it like that. So I just you kiss it. You think it's it. too sweet, huh? It's too much. Okay. I just kiss it, and then yeah. it comes out onto a tray, and we have Beautiful. a perfectly perfect jalebi. Oh, my gosh. That is gorgeous. Uh, I mean, I know there's a whole tray there. Yes. Shobana. Yeah. Shobana and this loves jalebi. So we said you could come in and try. Thank you. You come on this side. This one okay. right on top is waiting for you. And you try some. One of my favorites. Yeah. Like oh, a little bite. Ooh. Is that good? It's good, right? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I've so, tried a lot of jalebis before, and this is crispy and perfect. Oh, my gosh. That's what he wants to hear. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to hear. I want you to try one of the ones that I made next. <laughs> Amazing. I would love to. And guess what? Everyone in our audience is going to go home with a celebratory Whoa. Diwali box, and that is from Culture Market. Co. So they have an amazing Diwali Market series going on in Ontario right now. For more information, go to CityLine.tv. Dev, that was awesome. I am happy that you're happy. We've got so much coming up on our Diwali special. <laughs>